are three things that you can start doing today that will help you have a closer relationship with your kids? I'm going to answer that question coming up. Hey, it's John Finch with The Father Effect. For those of you who are new to this channel, our goal is to help men and women both find hope and healing from their father wounds and to help men become the fathers God created them to be. Don't forget to check out the free 60-minute movie, The Father Effect, in the upper right-hand corner. It may just change your life and legacy as a dad. Today we're talking about the three keys to becoming a great dad. Three things that you can do starting today to have a closer relationship with your kids. Key number one, admit it to them when you are wrong. I got the opportunity to interview a man by the name of Dudley Hall when we were making the Father Effect movie. And Dudley runs a camp for both boys and girls. Take a listen to what it is that he has to say. When we survey the kids that we work with and the fathers, and we say, what, what would you change most about your dad? Uh, the boys say, we, we wish he would admit it honestly, openly when he's wrong. Men really struggle with the idea of admitting that we're wrong, but it's important for us to let our kids know when we've made a mistake and to admit it to them. It does a couple of different things. It shows them that we're not perfect because they're gonna find out eventually. It shows them that it's okay to make a mistake and that they can also come to you and admit it to you when they've made a mistake. Key number two is to put up your cell phone when you're with your kids. The girls kind of say two things. We'd like for him to admit when he's wrong and we'd like for him to put up his cell phone when he's with us. Girls are practical. Our kids need to know that we are engaged, that when we are having a conversation with them, that we are paying attention. They need to be acknowledged. They need to know that they are being heard. When your kids are trying to communicate with you and you're on your cell phone, you're telling your kids that your cell phone and your work is more important than they are. Our kids learn to be distracted by the things of this world by watching us be distracted by the things of this world. Put down your cell phone when you're with your kids and pay attention, be engaged, be present because they desperately need to know that you are. If you're getting value from this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you will be notified every week when we release a new video. Key number three is listening. You know, as men, we are fixers. We like to fix things. We like to give advice. And I think so many times our kids come to us and they just want us to listen. They don't want advice from dad. They don't want things to be fixed. They just want you to listen. The overall thing is to listen to the child, okay? Uh, that doesn't mean you come in and you say, okay, how was your day? And you listen for two or three minutes while they try to talk to you. It means being there and listening. And sometimes it means getting down on the floor so that you're not looking down at the child, but you're down there on his level. And the second part of that is doing that for your wife. Uh, men have a tendency to look down on their wives. Get down on the same level with your wife and listen to them. And it's amazing. I think that a lot of the things that are wrong in marriages and in families is that we don't know because we don't listen. And our tendency is that when our wives or our kids try to talk to us, we're planning our response instead of listening to what they say. Tell them, respond in such a way that says, I hear you, acknowledging that you hear them. I understand, so that they see that you're paying attention to what it is they're saying. They need to know they matter and they know they matter if you're listening to what they have to say. The three keys. Key number one, 
Admit it to them when you are wrong. Key number two, put up your cell phone when you're with them. And key number three is listen to them. Don't forget to check out The Father Effect Show, where I have had the opportunity to interview some fascinating, influential, and sometimes ordinary people with extraordinary stories. And remember, your life is your legacy, and what you do and say every day is impacting your family and the generations to come. See you next time on The Father Effect.